How much does it cost to sell a home? If you've never sold a home before and you wanna know how much it actually costs to sell your house, keep watching. If you've never tuned in before, my name's John Rogman with Salty Pelican Properties and we're gonna dive into this. I'm gonna to try to keep it as simple, straightforward, and direct as possible. So without further ado, let's dive into how much it's gonna to cost to sell your home. Let's start with the upfront costs. These are gonna be things like any needed repairs, landscaping, paint, cleaning, staging, and of course, any upgrades that you might do to the house. So once everything is prepped and ready, you've got a couple of options here as to how you wanna market the property to sell. If you're gonna do it on your own without the assistance of a realtor, some of the expenses you need to consider are professional photography, professional floor plan, video, where are you gonna market the property, how are you gonna market the property, and if you're gonna offer a commission to a buyer's agent. Conversely, when you hire a professional to list your home, they should be handling all of the expenses associated with marketing the home, negotiating for you, providing the necessary paperwork for disclosures, and helping guide you through the process to get the best possible deal. So doing it by yourself or hiring a professional, either or, there are costs associated with it. Now you're at the closing table. This is where the majority of your expenses are going to actually take place. So you'll encounter attorney fees, title fees, deed prep fees, transfer tax, which is a tax imposed to transfer the property from one owner to another and varies from state to state. You'll also also have if you hire a professional to list a property that split that side of the commission structure whether or not you're offering a buyer agent commission that side of the commission structure as well so there are a bunch of fees that are going to be associated with it. You'll also see prorated HOA fees, prorated taxes, things of that nature. Included at closing will be if you have an existing mortgage, just paying off that mortgage, and that can be fairly substantial. Basically, if you're going to list with a professional, you can figure anywhere on a $400,000 house, your total cost being somewhere between area $21,000 and $26,000 to sell. And if you're going to list the property on your own and offer a buyer's agent commission, which I would strongly advise because agents work with a lot of buyers and it's a very high percentage of buyers are working with agents to help find your property and negotiate the deal. So it is in your best interest to go ahead and offer a buyer agent commission. But if you're going to go ahead and do it on your own and offer a buyer agent commission, you can figure it's going to cost you roughly, roughly about $15,000. So it's hard to say there's a specific number or a specific percentage associated with the closing or how much it is to sell your house. But there are a bunch of fees involved. Not all of them are astronomical. And what I'm going to do is is below this video here, I'm gonna attach a link with a spreadsheet so you can go ahead and plug and play some numbers to see what the difference is and what the outcome looks like for you if you were to list your house on your own, if you were to go ahead and, and list with a professional. And here's a little side note, a little plug to realtors. According to the National Association of Realtors, on average, realtors get more money for the house than somebody selling it on their own. Again, it's because we're professionals. We come up with the pricing. We have a better understanding of what's going on. Generally speaking, there are different levels of professionals in this industry. Generally speaking, you're gonna get a better return using a realtor to professionally market your property and negotiate for you. Down below is the link. Go ahead, use it if you want, free of charge. Plug in your numbers, plug and play. And if you guys have any questions or need further information, please feel free to reach out. I don't bite, I'm here for you. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.